responsibility is anybody's lot anytime. Sincerely, because of our traditional cultures and norms and values, the perceptions, particularly within our, our African culture, is that people with disability have, does not even have what it takes. Uh, I, I really love the sports, and sometimes uh, because I have I'm a person with disability. I also sometimes go on all fours, even engaging in football and even playing with them on the field of play. Having realized that there is a need to create equal opportunities for all of them to really come and justify themselves, we have to engage to reach out to as many persons with disability whom we can able to and bring some sort of technical capacity into it. So, by and large, we created the environment equal opportunities. We created the the, the, the enablement. I got this injury in 2006. We were operating some pretty ma press machine, and the machine fell on the leg. As soon as I came back home from the hospital, they, they started coming, visiting me, and one of my sisters asked me, uh, why are they printing here? And I told her, she don't know. First, one week, you get people to come and visit you. After that, you don't see anyone again. I got my amputation through a road accident when I was at the infant age, when I was six. I was crossing the road and then a tipper truck was also uh, moving and then I had my amputation through that. But long, uh, long and short of the whole thing, when I had it, I had this notion in mind that no, now, excuse me, I'm useless in society because those with two legs are even finding difficulties. How much more myself with one leg? We Africans, we have this mentality that those who are physically challenged has nothing to offer to society and uh, their country as a whole. But we use football as a vibrant tool to actually bring them together, to make them also feel that they are part of society. Family didn't regret me. They've been supporting everything I do. In support of my family, is very perfect. The time this thing happened, I was frustrated. So one of my brothers took me to the stadium and talk to the coaches and I went to train with them as soon as we uh, train finished and they told me I can do it. You don't have to play soccer but the moment you get the injury he can't do he can't be himself. The moment he start the training I know oh this guy can do well. So if you catch him and then train him I think he can do better for the team. So now he's a one of our best players, I think he scored about three goals in the World Cup. I started this team in 2006 and then we moved the team to Sierra Leone for the first African Cup of Nations. They went to Sierra Leone and lifted the coveted trophy, being the first African country to have lifted the coveted trophy. And when they came back, we qualified automatically to play in, in the World Cup in Turkey. And when we went to the World Cup, we really made a surprise. We were the first African country to have reached the quarter-final stages of the 40th year history of Amputee football.
there was a time I was sitting down and something came into, into my mind. Let my disability be a blessing to my family and the nation as a whole. So I told myself, no matter, it's never too late. You can still do those things you used to do. So I started and lo and behold, here I am today. This leg cannot come again. So what should I do? It has happened. So I have to gather my strength and be bold so that everybody will see that I would not take this thing to be in me so that it will kill me. No. We want them to be better for their lives. We don't want anybody to go sit by the streets begging. I was in the car last time, in the traffic, and one of disability, our colleagues came to me, he doesn't know I'm a disabled person, and he came to, he came to me asking for money, and I, ra I raised my leg, showing him that he shouldn't be on the road, he should come and join us. That time I was going to train, and I told him he should come and join us, he shouldn't be on the road begging for what? Today, be, me being the captain of the national team, I also play a club side in Turkey. I play for Yeni Mahali FC. That place, uh, the game has been developed professionally. They play a league system. We don't have a league system here in Ghana. Uh, I now gain respect from my family. I've now been accorded some sort of respect because now I'm doing something to help myself and to help the nation lift the flag of Ghana very high because the whole Africa, only uh, four of our guys are playing international. As far as I'm putting so guys in concern. We use the game to create avenues for physically challenged persons to have access to education, a whole lot of things. It, it opens so many avenues for the player to explore. But never lose hope. Your time will come. Your time will come. The sky should be your limit. You, you can really make it. It's never too late.